no encounter, three speed battle boosts. I don't remember this taking quite as long. But then again, I have not played this in eight or seven years, something like that. God, the world building in here is still so freaking unrivaled, and I can't wait to see how they actually flesh it out with a remake. I do wonder if there's a way to stretch out this image, though. I know some people like to keep the original screen ratio, but you know what? I got a big TV, and I would it would it would be nice if I could stretch it. It is so weird how they used to get around freaking graphical limitations. Pre-rendered backgrounds with fucking character models just slowly shrinking in size and moving. It's a good thing they have run by default to use the uh D-pad, you still have slow movement, but analog stick is fast. But you can still do that manually via uh, D-pad and circle. Oh, no, it's triangle. I wonder if it's in here. Let's keep that. Everything normal. One moment. <laughs> All right. Um, is it outside the confines of the game? You know what? I'm going to look something up really quick because I want to know how to do this just for future use so let's look up oh. I'll put it on this screen 7 PS whoops 7 PS4 uh, stick inputs I, I don't know how to look them up cheat codes Alright, so we have... T -t 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 for Rocket's huge material, I didn't know about that. It's circle, square, X... You know, I'll keep that in mind, it's not really cheap, but that's more just knowing it ahead. Um, it runs at three times speed, it's going to be very useful for just grinding out battles. R3 to refill health and limit break meters, that's definitely cheating, but if I want to grind or just cheese something that I've been stuck on, that's also good. And you can get rid of random encounters. I can see why people think random encounters are bad in games. But with the way that they're designed, they're basically required. Because that's how you level up. So if you don't do random encounters, then it's down. you're kind of screwing yourself. 
I know some people have a better time with games like Persona where the enemies appear physically um, before you go to the actual battles. But I don't know, I, I never thought it was a big deal. It's a really easy way to grind out levels, just run around in a circle for a little bit. I never really did have a good fundamental understanding of how the magic breaks up between... Or what's, what's good against what. They have a little bit of a breakdown in Final Fantasy IX. But that's about it. Let's change the battle speed, actually. Oh, whoops, the wrong way. <laughs> we'll cue the battle speed field message as our... We'll just see how it goes. And I was inspired to kind of jump into this straight after watching the Team Four Stars um, FF7 MA. That's the Final Fantasy VII Machina Bridged. Um, if you're familiar with their work, like Dragon Ball Abridged or even um, a Little Kribo's Yu-Gi-Oh Abridged, it's basically in the vein. But there's a bunch more cool production work. Uh, that's fine, Cloud. I don't care what your names are, once this job's over, I'm out of here. What a fucking prick. I used to have much more colorful ways of, uh... <laughs> naming teammates, but for the sake of this, let's, uh... Let's avoid doing that. I kind of like the original names anyway. There's not really too much strategy yet because it's just trying to get you familiar. If you have not played an RPG, this is just how you do it. So we're just using basic attacks. You can use magic, but it's overkill because I'm killing them in one sword hit anyway. And yes, I play with a little guide arrow just because sometimes it can be hard to tell exactly what is an exit versus something else. Alright, so Barry's got a bit more defense, and Cloud is just a little bit stronger overall. Uh, what I'm doing with the order here, you can change uh, top order, so where you want everyone's bars and stats, whatever, in the middle of battle. With Barry, the difference between these two positions is the back row is the back row of battle. And since he has a ranged attack, he can still do the same amount of damage from the back row. If I, put, or if I were to put Cloud in the back row, he would do less damage. But people who are also in the back row take reduced amount of damage, so Barrett has a best of both worlds. Which is also what, which just makes him a good character. A good character for, for team builds. You can basically use him for the entirety of the game.
I love all the freaking animations they have for Barrett to show him off just getting pissed off on the inside. Introduced to how you handle two people. It's not uh, not that complicated. I just love the frickin' end battle music. When Drake says, don't switch games, Jose, says you're still playing Eternal. Does it? I could have sworn I show. No, oh, whoops. <laughs> okay, see, what happened was... Um, there we go. I actually did uh, switch over Final Fantasy VII. I was changing the settings. I was doing the title. I got distracted. I accidentally closed out the, um, the editor. And so when I popped it back in, I guess I forgot to do that a second time. So, ma B. Or I could just say that, um... This, this is just a secret level in Doom Eternal, dude. You don't know what you're talking about. Super secret bonus. Get some of that fucking sweet, sweet turn-based action. All those mad combos. Sometimes you gotta wait to hit the X button, and sometimes you, you get you actually get to hit the X button. Well, I can just speed this up. How to interact with the world 101. For sure, yes. It, it's more than for sure. It is fi it is five sure, dude. And for the longest. Actually, no, I'm really embarrassed to fucking admit this. Uh, Jesse here. I did not realize Jesse was a woman until the remake trailer. <laughs> I thought Jesse was a dude. I guess that's just. It's, it, obviously, Jesse can be both a boy and girl name, but I guess I had just assumed because games are completely. Uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Or over. Overwhelmingly male characters. And so just by going off of that, you could assume that most characters in games are men. And it should be more of a 50 50 split for sure. But that is why I assumed. Sexist, yeah, dude. It's not those low polys at all. Those fucking thick ass rectangle hands. Ten fucking save spots, holy shit. <laughs> I forgot that's what I named my last slot from like fucking three, four years ago. Holy shit. There, that's that's a beautiful name that I named uh, Cloud. It does lead to some funny, um... It does lead to some funny character moments, I'll say that. You cannot actually fucking mess with your materia at this point, so by grabbing that, it means absolutely nothing. Uh, lovely name, yeah, yes it is. I think my favorite usage of that is, uh, I was playing Wind Waker, uh, Legend of Zelda, and I named my character the exact same thing. And there's a scene where your grandma is supposed to come along to you, and, um... She's supposed to say, oh, Link, my poor, poor, sweet Link, let me, let me hug you. And obviously, if you use that, it says, oh, my poor, sweet, huge cock, come here, let me, let me hug you. 
Oh, uh, it's it's so bad. But to catch you up, in case you don't know, uh, Cloud is a basically a mercenary for this freedom fighter slash Harris group that's trying to fuck up the Mako reactor. Because uh, the Shinra Company is basically PG. This this universe is PG&E, who also controls the world government. And so we're gonna blow up the reactor because it's literally stealing life from the energy. So it's a very heavy-handed metaphor. Just gonna speed this up. This isn't necessarily cheating. That's just. Helping things proceed. Although I do have to be careful. You can stack attacks at the same time. But with this boss in particular. Like when he raises his tail. That's basically don't attack during that. So. Don't stack attacks when shit like that's going on. And what you can do to stall for time is, once you've actually selected an action and if you're aiming or anything, they can't um, attack again. So if I were to just hold on to Barret here, this guy's not going to do anything. Aside from... Oh no, he already ha Oh, am I wrong? Did I have, do I have a different setting going on? Oh, you know what? I do. That is a setting I have to toggle that I will implement as soon as I can. Because it actually helps out a shit ton. Uh, oh, it's just about a heal too. New equipment for Barrett, I believe. So let's ten minutes. I think it still goes on during. Nope, does not go on during that. I was gonna say that we fuck up. Um, t -t 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 wait, that is the optimal way to play, especially if you're doing a fucking speed thingy. Um, let's get some potions going, equipment, Barret, slightly better, not much, but, it, it'd be, oh, yep, it does fucking count when you're in the menus, that's, that's really shitty. It doesn't even let you know about that ahead of time either. Did it disable the music because of the three times speed? I don't think it's supposed to. Unless I just fucked up. Hopefully it doesn't take the entire <laughs> duration of the save against me. There we go. Of course the battle happens the second I fucking move away from it. Bolts. It's a very nice and efficient way to grind out enemies. Whoops, go, fuck it, go. Whoop. You could think that they're crying, but they got their foot stuck. You weren't even doing anything, you are literally just fucking standing there. How do you manage to fuck standing there up? Uh, there's a lot of dudes. Still basically killing everything with one hit, so not a big deal. In your opinion, should I give characters unique names or should I stick with the classics? It's already too late for Cloud and Bear, but I can certainly do it for the others. Whoops, that to get over there. God, they're not even making a freaking dent in me. 
Um, if you have any character name suggestions, I believe the next person coming up is going to be Tifa. Then there's going to be um, Aerith and Red 13. Do whatever, dog. Oh, you know, just to spite you, I'm gonna, gonna fucking name her whatever, dog. Just to be a fucking literal asshole. Not a literal asshole, not, not a literal. Yeah, not a literal, literal asshole. Uh, let's go. Yeah, open the door. Don't. You don't have to wait for me to walk over to you to fucking do it. You should be taking the initiative on that. Why is no music playing? I'm pretty damn sure it's because of that. Let's see what happens if I just play normal. Really? Now, now it's you that fucking opens it? Why can't it be fucking consistent? Holy shit. Okay, yeah. No, no music. Let me my cat in real quick. Well, not traitors. Yeah, no, no music for whatever reason. <laughs> Plenty of alarm sounds. Waifus get good names, bucko. I don't really necessarily like any of them in here. Like, Tifa's cool, I guess. I'll avoid some semblance of spoilers, but uh, they're childhood friends, to, to put it one way. Um, Aerith is cool, and Yuffie, I don't believe, is even 18, so let's, let's not broach that subject, even though she's supposed to be... Uh, it's, it's so weird with Final Fantasy games, like, they're very vaguely typically like medieval European from both its characters and environments and themes and whatnot and Yuffie is supposed to be what is equivalent of Chinese I believe I might be wrong on that so you could make the argument like oh well in China it's uh, you could fuck a fucking 14 year old but I am I'm not gonna broach that topic <laughs> he fucking punched her what the fuck or at least knocked her over Excuse, I know. I think we name her later. <laughs> Let's see. Don't see many flowers around here. Never mind. What? Which one's more of a dick move? Oh, uh, supposed to be a. Ah, uh, they both seem like dicky answers. Clouds are just a fucking asshole. That's why. Buy one or forget it. It's only one gill. That's like less than a fucking penny. Why are you selling fucking flowers for a penny, dude? Let's go. See, I followed you, but you don't fucking pop up. <laughs> fucking. That always scared the shit out of me as a kid. I'm like, oh, what the fuck is that? Ooh. <sighs> Nope, just uh, a shitty job by Shinra, who runs the entire fucking world. You're eventually going to have to run away from these guys, but might as well farm the experience while you can. And you know what, just to speed things up, I'm going to give myself the limit break thing. Because the way that the limit breaks work, because obviously I'm not going to lose against these guys no matter what, there's no real way to fuck this up, is, um... I forget if it's level 1 or level... You have four different levels, and you have two different limit breaks for each one. In order to unlock the second stage of a level, you need to kill a certain amount of enemies. And then for the second stage, in order to advance to the next level, you need to use your limit break a certain amount of times. So what I'm effectively doing here is just uh, speeding along that process. There's nothing challenging about it, it's just grinding. 
and anything to get away with to do away with grind is fine in my book. Cloud never came. Ugh. Think he was killed. For someone that kind of hates Cloud at this point, Barrett sure is sticking up for him. Why would they think I'm killed? I literally got out at the same point as them. But you escaped the Maka reactor together. Like, that would have been the most dangerous part, and now they're all fucking worried. <laughs> Barrett being fucking sassy as always. And they actually do a good amount of job of, obviously, aside from what he's saying, but how he's saying it, and, and that's obviously not from a voice actor, but just the way they word what he's doing with exclamation points, with y'alls, and, uh, I forget the fucking words. So you see the weren't, it's supposed to be were not, that'd be the more formal, weren't is a more, more casual way to do it screw-ups is it's the um, it's a vernacular that he's using that helps flush him out very fucking bumpy train cheaters off oh, dude that's a cool fucking gamer tag I'm, I'm big cheating over here I will say I've never been good at fighting um, ruby or emerald weapon, so when it comes to that, I might just cheese it like end game, or just grind out the levels and then try to do it legit. And even in terms of, like accessibility, it, it it just makes the game a lot better. Because you can get really good at the systems, and you can find really good combinations for the materia. Aw, Jesse flirting with me, but not having the courage to say shit. Um, forgot, forgot what I was saying. Yeah, there's nothing inherently difficult about gaining levels, it's just time consuming. Sinking on board a train. Sinking on seen on fucking Bart with no Bart ticket. All the homeless people, all the fucking uh, crackheads on there. Yeah, dude, that's, that's my exact fucking feelings on Bart when I was coming home from San Francisco at 9 o'clock at night. You, you, sum, you summed it up perfectly. What's this guy doing? This is my house, so make yourselves at home. <laughs> yeah, that, that that's Bart. Yes, tell me about the thing I just did while not knowing it was me. Cunning leader? Yeah, Barrett's, uh... Barrett's not dumb by any means, but he's not... a great intellect. Much more brute force. And that's why I like him. I like this kind of stuff. Bombs and monitors, you know, flashy stuff. Yeah, because because bombs and monitors are exactly the same kind of fucking flashy. It's a very broad definition. Whoa, check out these 3D graphics, dude. And I think this is what's going to make uh, the remake so interesting. Is that it, it's supposed to be the first part and it's slated to basically end the second you get out of Midgar. And I can't wait to see how much more they flesh it out because the... I don't even know if you call it... There, there is Lori there. But the whole world that they build with the environment of Midgar is so fucking amazing and full of potential that they could flesh out even more.
And I apologize if I'm a fast reader, but I can basically skip these the second they pop up. Much good at read, I do. Yeah, you know, just a normal fucking alarm that shows up for even when uh, people have their tickets. They should put that shit on fucking Bart. Please don't bother you. I can't, I can't walk over there without bothering. Fucking asshole. Maybe we should've just bought a fucking ticket. That'd make us less conspicuous, right? Like, it's so... It's so... Naive. I'm not on the nose, but... All the poor people li literally live below the frickin' plate, so they can't see the sky. They're li li literally being put down. <laughs> by the fucking rich. Floating city. It's like, um... Another, another game kind of did a good job of fleshing it out. Um, Deus Ex, Human Revolution. It's, uh... I forget the name of the city. Hang Hangshaw? Something like that? It's because of that fucking pizza. People underneath are suffering time on the plate. Um, no, Deus Ex does a good job of exemplifying the upper and lower Hangshaw. I could be completely wrong on that name and I feel stupid. I mean, at least in the Midgar section, there's no real time wasted in the story and character motivations and whatnot. And of course, Cloud at this point in the game is just a fucking prick. Even with the NPCs you never interact with, it kind of helps build out, like, yeah, we're going to what is a real shitty part of town. Because honestly, I could do away with the whole combat system here. That's not why I play the game. I play it for the world building, for the characters. Not even necessarily the story, the characters in the world, or, or what I'm in it for. Cool explosions are cool. I would say that the pre-rendered backgrounds aren't as effective as, um, let's say, like, the original Resident Evils. Because it's more 3D. It's basically a flat JPEG that we're going up and down across with 3D models. So less impressive here, but it's still it's still cool. Oh, I'm so fucking paranoid when it comes to saving. I always I always wind up doing like two or three times just to be on the safe side. And thankfully the power situation at my house has been rectified, so I don't really have to worry about shit shutting off. Looks like the dude's fucking humping his mom's back or something. Let's speed it up. See, <laughs> uh, so time speed is very nice and convenient, but it makes really dumb, stupid shit like this happen. Did you hear? Don't care. <laughs> what a fucking dick. So there was a terrorist explosion up above, and at this time it was a mock reactor! Exclamation, exclamation. You know what this means? No, what? Billion gill worth of damage. At least we can put that on our fucking resume. And I actually really hope the remake goes into this, is that yes, we're doing things to save the environment, to do away with a fucking evil corporation, but 
there's actually a lot of human lives being lost in the process because you can't really blame like you know like the regular general workers are just working there nine to five trying to put money on the table not <laughs> put food on the table not money on the table I guess they're doing that too um <laughs> fucking A but um the game doesn't delve too much into how much of the innocent people who got killed is fabricated by Shinra PR versus what we're actually doing. But I think it's an interesting angle. I, you know, they might bring it up a couple times to Barry, but he kind of like says, I know we're doing some fucked up shit, but um, the ends justify the means. Not even necessarily in a villainous way. He has the best of intentions. But it's definitely something I want the remake to go into. Explosion had been in the middle of the night, that would have been one thing. At least people could have gone in their sleep. Yeah. That, that'd be cool. <laughs> the first optional building you can go into, and they say, like, don't come in here, dude. I'm fucking... Do you think this is a JRPG where you can just fucking burst in on people? Fuck you. Let's see if I can explore a bit. They sure do cuss a lot in here. I don't believe it's as much as in the other games. Because growing up, um, I mainly played 7 and 9, so that's most of my experience. I went back and played 4, never played 6, I know that's the one everyone recommends, so I probably should. Um. That's an item, not equipment. Let's get two of these bad boys going. I can't equip it to... See, that's the nice thing about a game like Persona. Even if they're not in your party, you can still equip shit to them. Because more likely than not, I'm going to fucking forget by the time I get Barret back. Now this is where the little save tutorial pops up. Maybe I have to do something else first. And I can get why there's save points in a lot of JRPGs. They don't want you to get in a situation where you have like one health and no items and your save game is just fucked. Well, I'm good, dude. Um, yeah, so it's basically built so you don't get yourself fucked over. But I think the overwhelming majority of games just need to embrace autosaves. There's there's no reason why you shouldn't. And if anything, allow people to use both types. I'm a father. And she hates me. That's not your daughter, by the way. Did I fight? That's a very poor wording. I fought with Barrett in the sense we fought enemies together. Or did I have a verbal confrontation with Barrett? Come on, Tifa. Um, there's a hidden little um, dialogue system here uh, with Barrett, Tifa, Aerith, and... Um, Yuffie for the gold saucer whoever you have most points with is who you wind up going on the gold saucer thing so in order to get like Barrett is your fucking date for the night you actually have to kind of go out of your way to piss off both Tifa and Aerith because by default the game has more points and opportunities allocated towards um, Tifa and Aerith I forget who has more I believe it's Aerith but I forget all the points that you have to do. There's even some optional stuff in order you have to do in order to get Barrett with you. But it's all pretty hilarious. Let's see. Oh, what did I say I was going to name her? Oh yeah, I was going to be a literal asshole. Oh. Uh, let's see. 
whatever dog. It's not gonna fit. I can do whatever, or I can do dog, or I, you know what? I can do whatever dog. No, I don't like any of those. Hmm. I'm going to let you decide. You are my faithful compatriots. You, you get the honor of naming characters from here on out. Not that I expect you to watch every single stream. That'd be asking far too much. And... <laughs> you already have to deal with my bullshit enough. meantime I need to do something on Facebook real quick so the fate of uh, blank is in your hands <sighs> fucking gill you know actually there, there are websites that have like best recommended names FF7 Best names for characters. <laughs> Talk to <you> fucking games. <laughs> okay. Definitely not what I was thinking of. Taquito is. Videos are hella good. <laughs> oh, flower for me. I didn't think for you, Takito. I love Takitos. So I can get points with Barrett right here again. Because I'm doing something. Because uh, Barrett is. Not Barrett, is his daughter. Okay, Marlene is, uh, Barrett's daughter. Let me see if I can... Oh, there he barges in. Aw, see? I'm not such a bad guy, Barrett. I know Cloud's a fucking douche. But he's not that bad. It's a really necessary to fucking hop all over the place. <laughs> oh, I want something hard, dude. Yeah. I mean, we did fight a giant fucking robot. Fucking loud ass glass clinking with the ice cubes. <laughs> What's he do, just doing just fucking slamming it? Oh, and another. Foreshadowing. God, that dude's face always creeped me out on the TV. It always looks like a freaking uh, fleshy gas mask. It's so weird. Typing, typing, crying, crying. <laughs> Uh, Biggs and Wedge are kind of recurring names throughout every single Final Fantasy game, kind of like uh, Sid. Is he a little too uptight? No.
fleshing out what it means to be a soldier. <laughs> oh, what a fucking dick. Malcolm Ray off fucking screen. I guess you can see his feet at the bottom. Poor fucking dicks over there. Takito, let him go. A bit of a translation error with them, what they call in uh, Shinra. The Shinra. Just translation issues. I don't care about nothing, I just want money, dude. Oh, he's fucking pissed. Going nuts. I know a bit of an issue for Advent Children, the movie that's uh, Final Fantasy VII movie that's set after um, the events of here. They make Cloud very mopey, very fucking emo. And uh, in this game, obviously starting off, he, like he talks a decent amount, but he's a bit of—he's very abrasive. He's very fucking rude and callous. But in the game, he—I uh, won't go into the full details of it yet—but he basically turns a 180. He's like there and energetic. He's nice and caring. And uh, it's weird. There's the events that happen before the events of Advent Children that kind of explain why he's in this place, but it's still such a jarring fucking juxtaposition from his character progression from that into that movie. Sorry, Takedo. <laughs> Let's just name everyone after fucking uh, Mexican food. How can you say that? How dare you bring up the fact that we are friends? That's... You're such an asshole. Seven years ago... Go, 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 go... This is a flashback. Well, 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 he does remember the well. I'm gonna be so bad with the fucking puns in here, specifically because this is such a text based game. Little baby cloud. Or no, he's supposed to be like, what, 20, 21 in this game, so seven years ago he'd be like 14. walk animation strut so cloud having a crush on here saying I'm gonna go to Midgar yep give me one moment
Sorry about that. It stopped my fat ass cat from doing fat ass cat things. Uh, yeah, that's what you're thinking. All Mexican foods are for names. You know what? For the next person, we're well, let's name him. Uh, let's name him Chalupa. I believe that's Aerith. So Aerith is gonna be Chalupa. <laughs> Which makes me sad because uh, the chalupa is not going to last. I would enjoy soldier to be a big bad soldier boy. Ooh, who is this cool guy named Sephiroth? The great Sephiroth. He wants to be so cool, like a hero. Cloud wants to be just like him. He wants more than anything to be a soldier. God, there's so much fucking foreshadowing here. It's not aggravating, but it's just like... They're setting up that they're childhood friends, and then there's this, and it's just like, this isn't exactly it. it I don't even want to say anything. One moment. Again, yeah, sorry, cats being assholes. This is why you do not invest in cats, because they are dicks. <sighs> but as I was saying, uh... The narrative term, unreliable narrator, should come to mind. Unreliable narrators are one of my favorite um, narrative devices because going back and reading or playing or watching just makes it so much interesting when you see all the telltale signs. Dude, you tossed the fucking money on the floor. <laughs> 1500 gil. I wonder what the fucking exchange rate for that is. You know what? I'm going to do a fun little experiment. See if there's actually anything on the web for that. Uh, FF7 gil to dollars. 100 gil is the equivalent of $1. 1000 gil is 10. So it's basically the. Um, the yen to the dollar. It's a uh, thousand yen. It's approximately eight dollars and fifty cents. At least that's what it was in two thousand seven. If we want to get really nerdy and look that up, yen to dollar. Let's see. Let's do one dollar in America is worth hundred and ten yen. 
or ten dollars is worth eleven eleven thousand yen. So the yen is actually, I believe, gone up. So that's that's good for the Japanese economy, I guess. Uh, which basically means, in order to go on this giant terrorist mission, I only got paid 150 bucks. That that's how much. That is. <laughs> that's fucking nothing. Holy shit, it got ripped off. This is my pay? Don't make me laugh. Yeah, you're fucking right, Cloud. You risked your life for 150 dollars. You are so bad at bartering, dude. That. 300 bucks? That's nothing! These aren't like freaking little selling drugs on the corner. This is going out and battling dudes and fucking giant robots. Holy shit. No, you're worst. Ah, they just do a good job with, uh, with Barrett having a good heart. You know, just sleeping against the fucking... On a grate against a pole over here. That's great for your fucking health. It's not even a great fucking hiding space for the pinball. You can see the lights coming out from down there. And it's not hitting well at all. I don't really know how to use materia. on Barry's good side anyway and I already know how it works. No point in doing it. So it's basically just a way of trying to make uh, the, tu the tutorial diegetic. It's like basically character exposition in a book when it's just like, I am new to this world. Can you explain the... I know mo movies do this much more than books because books can just um, give you information right, right off the bat. In like a movie, um, they can't just beam words in your head. So what they usually do is they give a character who is new to a scenario or an environment, and then they have a character who does know the environment, and that character relays the information they need to the other character, and that's very blatant exposition. All right, so let's uh, do some materia. Ideally, we want to give. I don't believe restoring is affected by anything aside from... I would have to look up the stats. And let's do that real quick, just so we have a base understanding. FF stab, F7 stats explained. Let's go over here. HP is pretty explanatory. There's MP. Let's zoom in a bit. Strength when added with the equipped weapon. Attack bonus determines the character's attack stat. Yeah, that's easy. Dexterity is affects the active time battle bar. Okay, so Cloud can attack more frequently than Barrett. Wonder what's the average hot earring price for a mercenary in real life? I would imagine it's got to be at least a couple thousand dollars. It also depends on what it is. There's no way it's just a hundred bucks. That's like fucking chump change for that kind of shit. Uh, vitality is when added to the bonus from equipped armor determines the defense stat. Okay. So for these, we can kind of just look down at the... Um, so we look at clouds. You see the strength. So that's what his character strength is. And the... And that adds the weapons stats. So the attack at the bottom, 41, that's the total of the strength plus the weapon. Uh, same goes for, um, I was just looking at Vitality. Vitality combined with the armor makes up for the defense stat, and so on and so on. Dexterity is for the ATB bar. Uh, magic is their inherent magic skill when added with the... Any equipment boost, which there usually aren't, determines a magic attack stat. Which is why my magic is the same as my magic attack. 
Um, I forgot to turn that on. Uh, spirit affects the magic defense stats. Okay. And luck is pretty explanatory. Okay. So let's go back to the game. So the way I strategize this is, and there's a cool system in um, Final Fantasy VII that really lets you customize how everything works. Um, I can demonstrate it real quick. Materia. I can remove, whoops, wrong button. The more materia you equip, the physically weaker your character gets. So you get less health, you get less strength, but in exchange you get more magic points and you get a higher, um, you get higher magic points and higher magic attack. So you can make basically anyone a mage, you can make anyone a tank, it all depends on how much, on how much uh, material you give people. So the way I tackle it is, so the three material we have right now are Restore, Lightning, Ice, and they all have their ways that you can level them up and they get different uh, equip effects. So like if you use Cure enough, you get AP, which, um, can advance you from Cure 1 and Cure 2, so it's just basically stacked versions that have stronger effects. So, let's look at who has the best. So we have two offensive um, magic attacks and one restore. Um, so the best way to do this, at least to me, is make sure everyone has at least one magic attack. And the way I play, I like to make sure that everyone has a capability to heal, so if something happens to one person, you're not too screwed. Which is why in games where you're kind of hard locked to healers, such as um, Final Fantasy IX, it can be a little bit tougher. Here, you can customize as much as you want, and that's kind of the beauty of it. So let's go to stats. Um, Cloud has magic attack 24, 19, and 15. So I'm going to wind up giving Takedo, not Tifa, Takedo, <laughs> the, um, the healing materia. Although it is important to note, there's going to be a tiny little point in, um, where we're going to lose that restore. Whoops, I didn't want to give the lightning to Cloud, you can have ice. So I, I usually try to remember to take the restore away from whoever else has it. But you can buy more up here, I believe. I don't know if I have enough funds. For it. So I believe this oh I know. It's over here. This guy. Yeah, you can buy restore somewhere. There we go. We can even get fire. So let's buy you should basically always try to have three different restores. And I can't afford fire. Let's see what I don't need. We don't need a bronze bangle. That's worthless to us right now. And we don't want to sell any of this. Can we afford it? No, we can't. It's okay. We can make up for that later. I don't believe you come back here until later, but then there's already shit going on, so... I guess we can miss out on that opportunity. But there's gonna be plenty of chances to buy materia. But actually, no, let's see if we can sell a more useless item that we do not need. I know in um, Final Fantasy IX version for modern consoles, you can cheat to just get like unlimited money. Um, how much can I get for this? Yeah, I'll, I can sell one potion, that's fine. Oh, uh, what? Did I not sell it? Okay, I need to sell one more. Okay, that's dope. Got a fire. So I can actually afford to give Tifa. Oh, nope, she can't equip anymore. So what we're gonna do, we can restore to everybody. Uh, 
And just in case an enemy is resistant to lightning, I'm gonna give him fire. And usually it's it's kind of best practice to um, constantly have everyone have materia equipped because as you're killing enemies, you're getting AP so you can level up your materia. So you kind of always want to be leveling them up. So even if you want to eventually build a tank character, you don't have to build up the skill to be a tank. You can make your character more of a glass cannon, a magic user, and then just take that away whenever you want, and boom, your character's back to being a tank. But if you want to be a tank for 90% of the game and switch to mage characters, um, you can't do that as effectively because you never leveled up your materia. So you gotta kind of start early in that regard. master of being conspicuous, dude. Barrett is not a sneaky man. <laughs> oh, this is great. Guy's like, oh, that, that, that's racist. <laughs> I love everything that has to do with Barrett in this game. You know what? Let's, um... Well, I'm trying to pull something up real quick. Uh, I think you already know where this is going, but in regards to this guy. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. It was needed. Now, I have to say, it's just so much easier streaming from a console because you know I can just kind of cue shit up like that if I were to if I was saying I was playing this exact same game on PC I, I can mess with I can look at my stream I usually have my second monitor but in terms of like queuing other stuff up I'd have to tap out of the game which means the game effectively pauses as I do that over here I'm waiting for text to go I can hit X to continue the text I can kind of just do this in the background so I think it's really convenient and I see why people when they do stream on PC they actually have a separate PC that they're streaming from so they're basically taking the video output from their gaming computer into another computer that's doing the streaming and I see why laptops in particular are very useful for that and if my desk was big enough I might invest in that but alas it is not <laughs> he fucking terrorize this guy and the dude that says he fucking lives on the little Shinra Bart train he's just chilling he doesn't care he's just used to this crazy ass shit fucking Tifa I'm, I'm, I'm sorry Takito there, there is no Tifa only Takito And the ID card's not even necessarily like a BART ticket or anything like that. It's tied to basically your identity. Hence, ID card. And we're not authorized to be on here at this time. the timer reset. Dude, Cloud, can you are you just gonna sit there for three seconds, waste time off this fucking thing? Alright, this part's a little bit 
funky because, um, did he just punch the fucking old dude? Holy shit. So this little dude, he's going to try to steal our money, which I don't have much because I spent it all. He can confront him and get the money back, which I did, which is like all of, oh wait, let's not do that because that's going to waste my time. <laughs> yeah, he stole all fucking three of my gill, dude. All three, all point three pennies. See, they're doing a decent job being conspicuous. That's uh, Migs and Wedge, I believe. One of them is as a little Shinra train operator, whatever. The other one with a fake ass mustache. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> forgot I'm in the back. I don't know why I came, I just wanted to be near you. <laughs> God, Tifa's motivations in here are so fucking dumb. I don't even really go into how she got tied up in all this. Like, she, I guess she believed in the cause, but... She was doing this shit way before Cloud showed up. Wedge dressed up as a little kid. And yes, Biggs and Wedge are um, Star Wars references. <laughs> we all just get fucking absorbed into his body and then it all just fucking fade away in the cloud. Got three times speed going, make this faster. And just like Star Wars, gonna go down a little garbage chute. Nice depth of, not really depth of field, but giving, uh, it's layered. I can't think of the fucking word right now, I'm tired. Depth of field would be what's in focus. So it'd be like a rack shot, but everything was in focus there, so I'm not sure that counts. And then let's just get this stuff out of the way. It's not cheating because these guys are way too fucking easy to kill anyway. I'll tell you what, I won't use this on a boss. That would be fair. Because for these guys, I would not even bother using magic. There's no point. See, so yeah, we got Cross Slash. So yeah, for each level, there's two, except from four. Four, once you get the limit break in there, that's just the one that you get. And when you set a level, um, it's like if I want to use level 2 ones, you have to actually go in and manually select it. You don't have access to all your limit breaks. Um, and it does reset your bar. I forget the right way to go. I know it's not up here, but we're going to go in there anyway. Crawl. Metal. Gear. Tifa's limit break is not that good because it's all freaking luck based on here. You can get a little better at it. But it's just so fucking inconsistent that that's why I don't use Tifa. She's not reliable and her stats aren't that good compared to some of the other party members you wind up getting. There you go, I wound up going the right way. Ship. 
So let's just grind out these limit breaks and I'll go right back to not cheating. How dare I cheat in a single player game. <laughs> and honestly, most RPGs just out of the box should have a times three speed to just help along with a grind. God, I, I'm moving too fast. There we go. Whee! Down a nice convenient slide that all workers use. At least the setup's the same. He's a little bit of a weird vertical screen tear whenever that transition happens, and I don't remember that in the original. It's probably nothing. God, Tifa, your limit break sucks so much ass, dude. I can eat, you can have like so many people get into games with like <coughs> good stories just by using the cheats in here. Cause like I know for a fact like Des would, uh, my girlfriend Des would love the story in here, but wouldn't necessarily want to do any of the challenge. And if it if it just helps to smooth things along, I don't see why not. Papa, Sephiroth? You mean the hero guy I wanted to be like did a bad thing? Oh yeah, I kind of forgot about that. That's the reason why she wants to take Shinra down. Big old tragic moment. PTSD, dude, it's a bitch. Let's try. There we go. Let's see if Tifa's thing is actually worth anything. She doesn't even do that much damage, even when you get it right on. Mind blow. I believe that's a magic version. Let's see. Check. Tax one opponent. Reduces one opponent's MP. Okay. Not as useful in terms of damage output, but if we go against a magic user, that could be useful. limit breaks as early on as we can because like there's nothing stopping you from even doing it so early on all you need is access to a it's like an area that you can grind out enemies and like a like an inn or just like healing there's really not that much to it I think the overwhelming amount of RPG should just... Oh, wrong one! Shit. Somersault. 
I'm gonna attack that doesn't suck. Or no, I think that just adds like another freaking bar to it. Let's see, mind blow. Yeah, it just adds another freaking thing. Well, at least it managed to fucking kill something. No, we need you to get your thingy up, so let's... Ship. Oh, this fucking part. You have to hit the buttons at the same time. And no one tells you when they're about to go. So you just have to... Dumb. Oh! Oh, that is the soonest I've ever managed to do that. I've been sitting there for like fucking five minutes at a time. I'm like, oh my god. There we go. should work. Okay, so her actually gets pretty decent. It's just that first level that sucks so much ass. But it's definitely... I guess you could say skill because you have to time it right. But there's still some luck to it. You can very heavily have it go in your favor. You know, I'm going to look up those details on how to get the limit breaks again. I believe it was the first stage you need to use it a certain amount of times. Um, seven. How to get limit breaks. Let's look this up real quick. All right, so so in order to get the second um, limit break in a level, you need to use the previous one eight times. And then to get to the next level, you need to kill a certain amount of enemies with that character. Okay. That is more than fine. That's easy. We can do that. President actually went out of his way to fucking talk to the terrorists. actually kind of ballsy. Enough vagueness there to sell the story. The person you wanted to be can't remember you unless you're like that superhero who evidently killed Tifa's dad. So something happened. He was brilliant, perhaps too brilliant. It's actually pretty ballsy for him to come himself. <laughs> what a prick. Techno soldier dude, he plays fucking EDM and lo fi. Oh, the fucking thing just covers up his model and teleports in there, okay. Okay, so I'm not gonna use my freaking infinite um, attacks here, because it, one, this is a boss battle, two, it wouldn't help, because in order to get to the next stage of the limit break, we actually need to um, kill a certain amount of enemies, but I do have these ones built up, so... 
I'll use those. Got that. Shit. He actually does a very high amount of damage. Not dead already, is he? What the fuck? Just from cross slash? I mean, I get that it's like a powerful limit break, but I didn't think it'd be that powerful this early on. My bad. Never gonna tell you about all the taquitos I was gonna make with you, dude. I know taquitos. <laughs> Be strong, dude. Dude, hold on with your fucking rectangle hands. That's why you fail. You don't have fucking opposable thumbs. <laughs> or fingers, for that matter. And that is such a stupid fucking height to fall from. He's so screwed. Without the use of voice acting, we can't tell who this is. And in this and books, it's such a good narrative device, not knowing even if it's freaking male or female or being able to match the voice to somebody is just so much more of a mystery. There's a church in the Sector 5 slums. Yep, survived a fucking crash from uh, hundreds of feet up in the air. Basically from the equivalent of like 10 skyscrapers. <laughs> and I'm fine. Granted, he's a genetically enhanced soldier, but still. And thankfully, Final Fantasy is one of those games where... Um, if the party leader dies, the game does not end. That's something that's still aggravating in Persona. <laughs> Look at that fucking blocky ass dude. <laughs> Holy shit. <sighs> Oh, I can actually move. I remember, dude. She could have said that you were the slum drunk. Holy shit. special because it does jack and shit. Materia is a physical manifestation of uh, the life stream. Some of them contain some and some of them are like magic and some do other stuff. It's basically like little philosopher stones because they're made out of the life essence of the planet. You mean the flowers I fell down and fucked up? Shit. 
she'll actually get pissy at you if you step on the flowers too. All right, and as the gods dictated, we are going to be naming her Chalupa. Whoa, I misspelled Chalupa. How the fuck did I do that? That would have been dumb. Chalupa. I'm Chalupa, the flower girl. Nice to meet you. Oh, who's that? Who's that guy sneaking on in here? Cloud, don't let it get to you. I want to know who this dude is. I want to talk to him. Don't mind me. I mean, you kind of just came in. Prick. It's, it's so obvious to me now, like seeing these flashes where you get those white flashes and you see the other text. Obviously, I know what's going on, but because um, I am so smart and sophisticated. Um, like, I, I'm, I'm trying to even remember what I thought originally when I played it. It's, um, it's like... There's, there's something wrong in his memory, or he has like this weird thought process. Little pings from his past. Think about the flowers, dude. Their fucking chortle is just their freaking shoulders moving up and down. Don't sip on the flowers, you mother. <laughs> what an asshole. How do I get around again? That's weird, so if, I, if you press directly up on the D-pad, you're actually moving northwest, northwest. So I forget how to move around here. Oh, you know what, Chalupa does not have shit. Let's do bolt on you, see what we get. So you know what, Aris does need to keep spamming that, so I'm going to let her. Oh yeah, times three speed, that'd fucking help. God, you could cheese this so easy with Aerith too, which is infinitely repl replenishing mass heals. I, I don't think I have any materia for her though. I do actually. We should give you some restore. Actually, you know what? Yeah, give her some restore. Equipment. Can't give her anything else. Oh, you know what? Let's give that other bangle to Cloud. There we go. Mm -hmm. 
So I actually did give me my restores back. Okay. I don't remember that in the original release. Maybe they fixed that here. Alright, let's give you ice. And just to level this stuff up, let's give restore. And see, it's not even really necessarily lowering, lowering strength so much, but it is taking percentages out of HP and MP, which obviously, since they're percentages, uh, they affect you much, much more as the game goes on. It's easier to lose 10% of 100 health, because it's only 10 health, but if you have a million health, that's going to take out so much more. Make sure not a killer. Let's shoot at her. Um. Yeah, magic. We'll be fine. Since we need to actually fight, I won't just spam that. There we go. She's actually really freaking good at magic, so that works. Uh, let's maybe turn this off for now. Fight him, dude. Just fuck him up. You have freaking magic now. Her physical attack is pretty fucking weak sauce, though. Son of a bitch. How's your staff even floating? There we go. Can't I? Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, this, the scale inside the church makes sense. Then you go to the outside environment and you're like almost as fucking big as the whole thing. It's so dumb. areas beneath the plate are all oh she already said it these are the fucking slums and they don't even get to see the sun there's all this pollution it's fucking crazy oh she's lying She knows something that we know but have repressed. <laughs> Where'd she say it was? No, that's the. Oh no, actually, let's do some exploring. Okay, so that's the outside. We're not allowed to leave, apparently. God, I know this game too fucking well. You know what, I might actually just call a stream right now, because I went to bed way too fucking late last night, and I could really use the catch-up sleep. 
but should be streaming again in the morning. Um, I, I do actually want to check her stats real quick. Just for comparison. So yeah, her attack is significantly weaker. Um, and obviously Cloud's more decked out with uh, Terrier right now, but... Well, he's also four levels above. But she's definitely a damn good magic user, the best one we have next to Cloud. Cloud's kind of the overall best character. There's nothing. You can't really contest that. Alright, so... I know I already saved, but I'm paranoid and I'm going to do it again. Alright, so thanks for anybody who stopped by. Um, have a good night, and I will be on tomorrow. Bye-bye.